Yes, hello and welcome here to McLean's TV, the Northwest 200 after a marvellous night's racing last night, all hoping that the weather stays kind for us tomorrow, which is going to be an absolutely fabulous day. What a start, we had three races last night and three winners, and Lee Johnson and Alistair Sealy with the double, of course, Sealy, as we know, on board with McLean's TV, one of our sponsored riders, delighted for him, and I'm delighted to say alongside me too, I have clerk of the course now, Mervyn White. Mervyn. Look, we had very bad weather last year, and then we have racing last night, which was simply five-star. Yeah, I mean, the racing last night must have been the best we've had in a long number of years, you know. It's just, conditions were so good last night, you know, and as you say, with the with the, the local winner and Alistair Sealy in two races, and, and also Lee Johnson, you know, it just was, it was the icing and the cake, but conditions were so good, and I mean, there was so much sort of, you know, dicing down the field as well type of thing, you know, around the course, you know, so really, really pleased the way last night went. Quite interesting to the PSNI, you know, we had uh, uh, young Griffin here, who's our stunt writer, was performing last night. The police had a call that short because there were so many crowds. There was record crowds last night. It's going to be a fantastic Northwest. A wonder to remember, I think. Yeah, I think you're right, Logie. I mean, the, the crowds were unbelievable. I mean, the grandstands here were just packed to capacity. The, 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 the golf course car park here, you know, massive number of vehicles parked in it. Down at York, we put a big screen this year for the first time, and I stopped with a few of the people there on the way around on one occasion just to ask them what they thought, and they were just they were smiling from year to year. You know, this is a brilliant experience altogether. You know, so they were able to sit there, watch the racing live on the big screen, uh, and also you know watch it from the grandstand around the course. I suppose the other thing as well is that I mean the photographs themselves and and, and all the action was being beamed throughout the world. You know, and some of the scenery, you know, on the north coast here was just something else. Can I ask you too, I know you're maybe not allowed to do this, you know, but who would you fancy for big races on Saturday? It's hard to know. I mean, in the form of Alistair series and at the present time, I'd say Alistair's probably knocking at the door again for further ones, I would think. I mean, he's, he's just riding absolutely brilliant. You know, I mean, he, he, he had a, an incident at York Corner, which wasn't his fault, put him back to 15th place, came through, he won the race. So, you know, I mean, it's just absolutely brilliant on his own form, and I would say on, on Saturday, uh, any betting man would probably put a few pounds on him again. OK, Mervyn, thank you very much indeed. There you are, McLean's. We're ready on a winner if you tipped Alistair City. He's already got the double, and who knows if Mervyn says he's probably going to end up with a few more victories on Saturday here as well. But for me, for now, from the North West, it's bye-bye.